All right guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of the wild man's wild friends. This is a Texas spotted lizard. It is a beautiful and crazy fast lizard that I just caught. So this is the first lizard coming to Texas this time. I was actually just behind me rolling over some uh, busted up concrete. You never know what you're gonna find. But one thing I've learned is you find a lot more when you look. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and say, appears to be a female to me because a lot of times the men will have uh, the males will have blue bellies and they'll have a red throat. This one just has a pink throat. So with whiptail lizards, you've got over 40 varieties anyway. Um, in Texas, with the Texas spotted whiptail lizard, there's at least six recognized subspecies, but they're all gonna have a couple things in common. The one is going to be that they're gonna have about seven lines running down their back. You can see it's got a big fat line right in the middle and then three on each side of it. So that's gonna help you identify these. They're very fast. They're a diurnal lizard, which means they're out during the day as opposed to nocturnal. They eat a lot of different insects. This one's actually doing quite well. You can see on her belly, she's, uh, she's shedding. So there's all that skin actually hanging down right in between there uh, where it's, it's shedding, it's growing. There we go. So you can see that and it has a very long tail. These lizards can get almost up to about a foot. So this one looks like about nine inches total to me. So she could be potentially three inches bigger. A very alert, very quick lizard. Thankfully when I found it, it was underneath, you know, a, uh, a slab of concrete. I lifted it up and seen it quickly and was able to grab it before it really darted away. I saw it tucked this way, so I flipped it the other way and grabbed right away. I was able to catch it, had the little peppers there with me at the time. So these guys, uh, pretty cool lizards. They'll lay, I mean, they don't lay many eggs at all. They'll be less than six eggs usually, about one to five eggs is what they'll lay early in the summer. And whiptails can be found in a number of places across you know, the southern United States. Like I said, there's a lot of varieties, even if you just kind of do a quick search and check out some of the different ways that these lizards can look. It's absolutely incredible. And this one here, she has a change in coloration in her tail, right where my second finger is here. But it looks so uniform besides that color change there, I don't think she's ever lost her tail. Um, which is good, because a lot of lizards will have their tails break off. Some species can regrow them, some can't, but this is such a such a beautiful lizard. I'm gonna definitely do a photo shoot with her too, which is gonna be more difficult because they're so quick that I might only be able to get a photo or two, even hopefully, outside of my uh, outside of my hand because they're so quick. But I'm gonna give you a better look at her quick up close. And uh, in the description to this, I'll link my full post on Steemit about this. And then also if I do a photo shoot so you can get some better shots. Um, in between those lines, the, the seven lines that they have, you can see there are some spots, but they're pretty faint on this one. But you can see they're there, they're a lighter white colored spot in between there. And um, some of these will have more pronounced ones where you can actually see the spots a whole lot better. But beautiful lizard, fast lizard. I've never caught one of these before in my entire life as far as I know. There was one lizard that may have been similar um, back, oof, about a decade ago down here in Texas. But uh, this is, as far as I know, my first Texas spotted whiptail. Very happy to have found her. Very happy to have shown the beauty of it, you know, to my children and my wife and let them appreciate it. And we're gonna let this one go back where we found it to help keep the uh, local population about where it should be. So, all right guys, be blessed, pop out. always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.